Hi guys, it's Gemma, your Sunday girl. I know it's Monday now, um, but yesterday at around 10 o'clock at night, when about to upload my video, I realised I'd lost my memory card and couldn't. No, so I've decided that today, instead of reshooting the video that I was going to upload, I do a vlog video. Um, I'm kind of glad that I have this opportunity to do this because it's something that's very important to me. Today, if none of you know, is the 10th of September and it's World Suicide Prevention Day. I'm just going to roll out some facts. I have the website open behind my webcam thing and nearly 3,000 people die on average, let's have a look, commit suicide daily. And for every person who completes a suicide, 20 or more may attempt to end their lives. About 1 million people die by suicide each year. Um, I personally am part of that statistic. I have tried to kill myself on three occasions. Um, And so this this sort of day, although I still feel the same way, I can turn around and say I would hate to know or be in the knowledge that I could do anything to stop another person feeling the same way. Um, what used to anger me the most about whenever I was turned away from a counsellor or a doctor because they didn't think that I needed their help was that there could be someone in a similar position to me not getting the help that I needed and in fact on one occasion in particular um, after filling out a diagnosis survey thing of depression a doctor actually turned to me and said I'm not going to write down are you suicidal? Because it means I have to do more paperwork. And it means that I have to send you to the hospital. So instead of actually helping me, he didn't, he basically didn't want to do his job. He didn't want to help me out. What am I meant to do with that? What if there's a 14 year old that feels exactly the same way as me? who goes into that doctor's and says the same thing and they turn around and say it's up to you, you can change your mind if you like I won't send you to the hospital that's it, just ridiculous so <laughs> I feel it's important that a day like this exists to kind of consolidate the fact that there are a lot of people in the world suffering from social anxiety, depression um, and mental, mental, Ill, uh, mental illnesses that cause suicidal tendencies. Um, the way that the World Suicide Prevention Day works is that they aim to raise awareness, improve education, spread information and decrease the stigma attached with suicide. I think the problem with a lot of people nowadays is if they think someone's suicidal, that there's a problem with them, that they're not normal. But that's not the case at all. Um, in fact, a lot of the people that I see on a day-to-day -day basis, if I hadn't told them that I suffered from social anxiety, depression or whatever, then they'd never have known. So it's something that kind of stands out to me that it's important. We need to stop people thinking, well they're suicidal, they've got marks on their arm, so that emo or whatever label that's attached to being that way, because it's not the case. So for Suicide Prevention Day, what you are meant to do is either wear yellow and write love on your arm, or write love on your arm and not wear yellow, it's entirely up to you, just do one or the other. Um, for me, I've written love on this arm because it's the one that has my scarring. Um, 
so it's important to me. I'm not ashamed to show off my scarring. It's nothing to do. It doesn't. It doesn't impact on the way I am, and it doesn't affect the way I come across to people. I'm still the same person inside, and I think that's we need a lot more people that are open about it, and they need to. I do hope that for the years that the world's suicide prevention day continues to go on that it raises more and more awareness and a lot more people are helped because I think one of the main factors for me is that not enough people are helped and not enough people are saved basically and um, so I'm sorry for the morbid video I'd really like you to comment down below and just or maybe do a video response that'd be quite cool um showing pictures of love on your arm or post on facebook the swamp family just pictures of you writing love on your arm i think it'd be really important to raise awareness thanks guys